Hi everyone, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to my channel, Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little elephant. For this tutorial you're going to need grey colour for the main body, pink for the inside of the ears and white for the tip of the toenails. In addition to this you're going to also need 3.5mm crochet hook, 12mm size security eyes, some fibre fill, stitch marker and also darning needle. So make sure that you've got all of those components and then let's get started. We're going to start off with the head and for this grab hold of your grey yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and chain two. One, two. Now we're going to start round one by working six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Slip your hook in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both. That's my first single crochet. We're going to work six all together. Here's my fourth, fifth and my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And from here, we're going to start working in a spiral. So, first stitch of this round is going to be on top of your previous round. So locate your first single crochet there. Slip your hook inside. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both to work your first single crochet of this round. Slip your hook back inside the same stitch and we're going to work another single crochet. Now this is called an increase. Each time when I say increase, you're going to be working two single crochets in the same stitch. In this round, we're going to be working six increases all together. Here's my third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase, and final increase number six. Now this should bring your stitch count to 12. We are going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. From here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. I'll slip that in here, and we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Now here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. And then a single crochet in the next stitch. So here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, then a single crochet again. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Now we're going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. Here's my first single crochet. Stitch marker back in place. Second, third, follow this on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase. Three single crochets increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, stitch marker back in place, follow this on with an increase 
and then we've got two more single crochets in the next two stitches there's one and there's the second one now here's your combination two single crochets followed on with an increase two single crochets two single crochets increase two single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row here's my first second stitch marker back in place third fourth and fifth follow this on with an increase and you're going to repeat that combination all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 42 we're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row that's my first second and third let's put the stitch marker back in place follow this on with an increase and here's the next three stitches where we're going to work three single crochets and here's your combination for this round three single crochets followed on with an increase three single crochets three single crochets increase three single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 48 now going to start the next round with seven single crochets in a row followed on with an increase seven single crochets increase all the way around so go ahead and work this round and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 54 we're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row one two and let's go ahead and put a stitch marker back on here three four follow this on with an increase and then four more single crochets in a row again one two three and four so here's your combination for this round four single crochets followed on with an increase four single crochets four single crochets increase four single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 60. we're now going to start the next round with nine single crochets in a row followed on with an increase nine single crochet Followed on with an increase all the way around. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 66. Now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's put the stitch marker back in place. One, two, three, four, five. And follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And again, five single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, and five. Now here's your combination for this round. Five single crochets followed on with an increase, five single crochets. Five single crochets increase five single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 72 we're now going to start the next round with 11 single crochets in a row followed on with an increase 11 single crochets increase repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 78 we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with the single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you will need 78 single crochets in a row. So after once you've done one round, you're going to follow the same instructions 11 times altogether to have 11 rounds of just single crochet. 
So go ahead, finish 11 rounds of just single crochet with 78 single crochets in each round and then meet me back here. At the end of 11 rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 78. Now before we start the next round, we're going to insert some eyes into this head and to do this, you're going to make sure that the stitch that you finished with is directly at the back, turn it over and this is the side we're working on. So stitch that we finished with needs to be in the middle. Now I've already gone ahead and inserted one eye. I will show you exactly where we need to insert this. So you're going to count 17 rounds from the top all the way down. And we are going to be inserting the eye between round 17 and 18. So if I bring this close, this is one round, there's another round, and this is the space where we're going to be inserting the other eye. Let's grab hold of it. We're going to be keeping about 12 to 13 stitches in between. So let's uh, count the gap here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's the 13th stitch. I'm going to insert the eye into that 13th stitch. Now before you put the backing on, you're going to turn this head over just to make sure that the eye has gone into the right round. Yes, it has. I've checked that. Now I can go ahead and put the backing on. And there we go. Let's slip a hook back into that loop and continue with our next round. Now in this round, we're going to start off by working 11 single crochets. One, two, stitch marker back in place. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, once you have your eleven single crochets in a row, you're going to follow this on with a decrease. To work the decrease, you're going to slip your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop and we're going to do the same with the stitch after that slip your hook in there pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go pull this down and we're going to repeat this combination 11 single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 72 now we're going to start the next round with 10 single crochets in a row. Here's my first stitch marker back in place. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and here's my 10th one. Now we're going to follow this on with a decrease. Again, we're going to slip the hook into the stitch and pull up a loop. Do the same with the stitch after that. Pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And just like this, you're going to follow this combination to finish this round. Ten single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 66. We're now going to start the next round with nine single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease, nine single crochets, a decrease all the way around. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 60. We're now going to start the next round with eight single crochets. Here's one, two, three, stitch marker back in place. Four, five, six, seven, eight, followed on with a decrease. Slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, stitch after that, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And here's your combination for this round. Eight single crochets, followed on with a decrease, 
and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 54. We're now going to start the next round with seven single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease, seven single crochets, decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 48. Now we're going to start the next round with six single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, and six, followed on with a decrease. So put up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And this is your combination. Six single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. We're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease, five single crochets, decrease, and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, and we're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches to work a decrease. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets, followed on with a decrease, four single crochets, decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. Now we're going to work our last and final round and in this round you're going to work three single crochets followed on with a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. Now we're going to finish off with this head by working a slip stitch in our next stitch. To do this you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your crochet hook. We're going to go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail so we can use that to stitch this head onto the body. Pull this down and there we go. Go ahead and stuff this up with some fibre fill. And now the head is ready. Now onto the arms and legs. For this we're going to work a slip knot, slip your hook inside and chain two. Two. Now we're going to start our first round by working six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between the stitches. And from here, you're going to start the next round by working an increase in your first stitch here. So that's two single crochets in the same stitch. And you're going to have six increases all together in this round. Here's my second. Third. number six. Now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Follow this on with an increase. And I'm going to be I'm going to be using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. There we go. And here's the repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. 
we're going to follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in that same stitch and then a single crochet in the next stitch so here's your combination for this round one single crochet followed on with an increase then a single crochet again single crochet increase single crochet repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. now we're going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row here's my first single crochet stitch marker back in place second third follow this on with an increase and here's your combination for this round three single crochets followed on with an increase three single crochets increase all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30 we're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row here's my first second stitch marker back in place follow this on with an increase and then we've got two more single crochets in the next two stitches there's one and there's the second one now here's your combination two single crochets followed on with an increase two single crochets two single crochets increase two single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 we're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet just in the back loops now if i show you this stitch here you can see there is a line here and a line there this one makes a v shape and that is a whole stitch so we're just going to be catching the stitch not the front one but just the loop at the back like this and we're going to work our first single crochet in there and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around but working only in the back loop let's show you this again so just slipping your hook in the back of this V shape so the loop that's at the back and just like this, go ahead, work a whole round of single crochets, working in back loops only, and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count is still 36. We're now going to work a single crochet in the next stitch. Let's put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. But this time we're going to be catching a full stitch instead of just working in the back loops like this. And once you've finished one round with 36 single crochets, you're going to follow the same method five times to have five rounds of single crochet. So go ahead, work five rounds of just single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of five rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 36. We're now going to work four single crochets in a row. Here's one, two, three, and four. Let's put our stitch marker back on. One, two, three, four. And we're going to follow this on with a decrease. So slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. In the stitch after that, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. And here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets followed on with a decrease. Four single crochets decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Now to finish one round, you would need 30 single crochets in a row. You're going to follow the same method twice to have two rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, third, and we're going to follow this on with a decrease. 
So you pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Let's put our stitch marker back in place and go ahead and follow this combination to finish this round. Three single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place and now we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around you're going to be working five full rounds of just single crochet so go ahead work five rounds of just single crochet with 24 stitches in one and then meet me back here at the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 24. we're now going to start the next round with two single crochets here's first and second follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go stitch marker back in place now go ahead and follow this combination to finish this round two single crochets followed on with a decrease repeat that all the way around now as you can see the gap between the stitches is reducing in size with every single stitch so make sure to fill this up with some fibre fill and then work that round as well. I'll meet you back here in a minute. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Now to finish one round you will need 18 single crochets in a row. You're going to follow the same method five times to have five rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, finish five rounds of just single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count is still 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch followed on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches and work a decrease now that's your combination for this round one single crochet followed on with a decrease single crochet decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. we're now going to work our final round of just single crochets so go ahead work a whole round of single crochets and meet me back here once you've finished your one round of single crochet, you're going to make sure that you stuff the leg up with fibre fill all the way to the top and we're going to make sure that the stitch that we finished with is on one side. Now we're going to slip our hook into the next stitch here and we're going to do the same with the stitch at the back as well. So make your way through the front and the back of the stitches, pull up a loop from there, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. Now that's my first single crochet across the top. We're going to be closing this gap off by working six single crochets. So slip your hook in the next stitch, go at the back and make it go through the back stitches as well. Pull up a loop, that's my second single crochet. Third single crochet. Fourth single crochet fifth and here's the sixth one and once you've worked your six single crochets across the top you're going to chain one let's go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull this out of the stitch and pull this chain one down so it secures the thread in place and there we go now that finishes one leg you're going to follow the same instructions and make three more of these because we're going to be using the same pattern for the arms and legs. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. Now to the body and for this grab hold of your grey yarn, work a slip knot and chain two. One, two. Now skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now we're going to be working on the next round by 
working six increases. So in my first stitch here, I'm going to work two single crochets in the same stitch. That's my first increase. Second increase. Third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase. And the last one, increase number six. There we go. Now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds now. Then we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. There's one and back into that same stitch to work my second one. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase single crochet increase all the way uh, all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place we're going to follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in that same stitch and then a single crochet in the next stitch. So here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, then a single crochet again. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Now we're going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. Here's my first single crochet marker back in place second third follow this on with an increase and here's your combination for this round three single crochets followed on with an increase three single crochets increase all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30 we're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase. And then we've got two more single crochets in the next two stitches. There's one, and there's the second one. Now here's your combination two single crochets followed on with an increase two single crochets two single crochets increase two single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row here's my first second stitch marker back in place third fourth and fifth follow this on with an increase and you're going to repeat that combination all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 42 we're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row that's my first second and third let's put the stitch marker back in place Follow this on with an increase and here's the next three stitches where we're going to work three single crochets. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase, three single crochets, three single crochets, increase, three single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 48 now going to start the next round with seven single crochets in a row followed on with an increase seven single crochets increase all the way around so go ahead and work this round and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 54 
We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Now just to finish one round you will need 54 single crochets in a row. We're going to follow the same method nine times to have nine rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work nine rounds single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of nine rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 54. We're now going to start the next round with seven single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, let's put the stitch marker back in place. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. Follow this on with a decrease, so pull up a loop from next two stitches. Yarn over, pull through all of these loops that you have on your crochet hook. And just like this, follow this same combination and repeat that over and over again until you come back to this space here. So go ahead and finish this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 48. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you will need a total of 48 single crochets in a row. At the end of this round, your stitch count should still be 48. We're now going to start the next round with six single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease. Six single crochets, decrease, and repeat that all the way around. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. We're now going to work one whole round of just single crochets. Here's my first one. Stitch marker back in place. Now go ahead, work 42 single crochets in a row to finish this round. After this round of single crochet, your stitch count is still 42. We're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. Here's my first. Let's put the stitch marker back in place. Second. Third. Fourth and fifth. Once we've done our five single crochets, we're going to work a decrease in the next stitch. Pull up a loop from there and yarn over, pull through all three. Follow this combination all the way around to finish this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Slip your crochet in stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around so go ahead finish this round with 36 single crochet in a row at the end of this round your stitch count should still be 36 now we're going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease four single crochets decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30 now we're going to go ahead and work two rounds of just single crochet. In each round there will be 30 single crochets. So go ahead, work two rounds and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count is still 30. We're now going to start the next round. And in here you're going to work three single crochets in a row. One, two, three. Follow this on with a decrease. And this is your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet. Stitch marker in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. We're going to follow the same method four times to have four rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work four rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. I've now gone ahead and stuffed this body up with fibre fill as well. We're going to finish off with this by working a slip stitch into the next stitch. 
Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off. Pull this out and pull this down. And this completes the body of this elephant. Now onto the ears and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and chain two. We're going to now start round one by working six single crochets in our second chain from the hook. And here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And let's start round two. For round two, we're going to be slipping our hook in the first single crochet of your previous round. And that's where we're going to start round two. We're going to work an increase in there, followed by an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So in this round you will have six increases. Here's my third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase and the final one, increase number six. Now at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches. We're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to follow that on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Single crochet followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. I am going to use a stitch marker to identify the start of my round. So go ahead, put the stitch marker on and finish working this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. And then a single crochet in the next stitch. So here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, then a single crochet again. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Now we're going to start the next round by working three single crochets in a row. Here's my first single crochet. Stitch marker back in place. Second, third, follow this on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase, three single crochets increase all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase. And then we've got two more single crochets in the next two stitches. There's one. And there's the second one. Now here's your combination. Two single crochets followed on with an increase, two single crochets. Two single crochets, increase, two single crochets. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 36. Now you're going to follow exactly the same instructions. So pull this loop out and follow exactly the same instructions and create one of these, but in pink. So this is the inside of the ear. So we have done exactly the same instructions and got two of them in the same size. Now I haven't snipped this yarn off because we are going to connect those two together. So pink and the grey one are going to be connected back to back. To do this you're going to slip your hook into the stitch that we finished with but from the back this time because we want to connect these two things back to back. So from here once you're connecting that you're going to pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your crochet hook. 
make sure that they are back to back and then you've got the grey one in front of you you're going to start the next round from here so we're going to slip our hook in the next stitch and make it go through the stitch in the on the pink one as well so if I pull this apart you can see I've gone through the stitches on the grey one and the pink one and we're going to work our first stitch here single crochet go into the next one and the one after that and work another single crochet and just like this we're going to work five single crochets in a row here's my third fourth and fifth once you worked your five single crochets you're going to work an increase in the second next one so slip your hook in the next stitch make sure it goes through the pink one as well and then work two single crochets in that same stitch and just like this make sure you're catching the stitches one at a time from the gray and the pink one and then work this combination five single crochets followed on with an increase five single crochets increase repeat that all the way around I've now worked my way all the way around these stitches and I'm now left with one increase so we will be working that where you worked a slip stitch to connect the pink and the grey bit together so now that I've done this we'll move on to the next round so for this round you're going to work three single crochets followed on with an increase three single crochets three single crochets increase three single crochets repeat that all the way around so go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 48 now we're going to work our next round and in this you're going to work seven single crochets in a row one two let's put our stitch marker back in place three four Six and seven follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch and here's your combination for this round seven single crochets followed on with an increase make that go all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 54 we're now going to fasten off by working a slip stitch into the next stitch like this Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull this out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. Now this completes one of the ears. When we are attaching this on, we're going to pinch this across the side and that's how it's going to be connected. So go ahead, follow the same instructions and make another one of these ears. Now onto the trunk and for this, let's grab our grey yarn and work a slip knot slip your hook inside and chain two one two now for the first round you're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook that's one two three four five and here's my sixth one once you have your six single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and now we're going to start round two and we're going to work six increases in this one. Here's my first increase. Second increase. Third increase. Fourth increase. fifth increase and my final one increase number six now from here we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds let's go ahead and put that in the first stitch here 
And now I'm going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Just to finish one row, you will need 12 single crochets in a row. We're going to be following the same method 20 times to have 20 rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, finish 20 rounds of just single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of 20 rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 12. We're going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Let's get the stitch marker back in place. Now let's follow these two single crochets on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 16. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. We're going to follow the same method three times to have three rounds of single crochet. So go ahead work that and meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 16. Now we're going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. One, two, three, stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase, two single crochets in the next stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 20. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place. And we're going to go ahead and work a whole round of just single crochet all the way around. You're going to repeat the same process twice to have two rounds of single crochets. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 20. Now we're going to softly fill this trunk up with some fibre fill. So only a little bit, we're going to stuff this in and spread it evenly. And there we go. And once you've done that, you're going to make sure that the stitch that you finished with is on one side. And we're going to work a few stitches to close the gap between these stitches on the top. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch and guide it to go out through the back of the stitches as well. So if I pull these apart, you will see that I've gone through the front and the back of these stitches. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet here. Move into the next stitch. Make a guide your crochet hook to go through the back as well. And work a single crochet just like that across the top. Here's my third. And the last one, number 10. So you'll notice you will make 10 single crochets across the top and this is what the finished trunk should look like. Let's go ahead and chain one and leaving a long tail, snip this yarn off and pull this out. Pull this down firmly. And there we go, that's the trunk now finished. Now onto the assembly. And for this, we're going to start off with the head Let's go ahead, thread this bit of yarn into the darning needle and we're going to stitch this trunk in front between the eyes, evenly between the eyes and we're going to do that three rounds below where the eyes are. One, two, three, so just around here. If you were to count it from the top, this should be between line 19 and 20. So let's hold it in the right place, use some pins if you wish to and while holding it in the right place, you're going to Catch the stitches on the face and then catch the stitches on the trunk, like this. I tend to go through each stitch twice to make the connection nice and strong. That's one. Second one.
and just like this we can make it away across and once you get to the end you're going to do the same thing as you did on the other side so you're going to catch the same stitch twice to get a very flat edge on the side so catch the stitches from the side like this and one more time go through the same stitch and there we go so once you worked your way across you're going to lift the trunk up slip this needle at the side and guide it to come out from the bottom and secure this yarn here by creating a knot in place so create a loop like this and we're going to slip this needle back into the loop and pull this down and that secures the thread in place if you wish to do a double knot that's totally fine once you've done this slip this hook or the uh, needle rather back into the same stitch guide it to go through some fiber fill and allow it to come out from the neck area i'm going to just take the needle out and stuff this back inside and there we go now the trunk is on and stitched perfectly now onto the ears and for this grab hold of the ear make sure that the stitch that you finished with is on one side and pinch it along the top like this and we're going to be stitching the top part of this ear just below round 11 so let's count that from the top one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we're going to be stitching this between round 11 and 12 round round about there so if i hold this in place we can actually put some pins in to see if we are happy with the positioning I'm happy with that that's perfect and do exactly the same on the other side as well and stick the uh, pin the ear on and once you've done that you're going to just stitch the top part like a triangle across the top attaching the ear onto the head so go ahead and do that and meet me back here ears are now on and now to finish off with the head we are going to add a few strands of hair on the top of the head to do this you're going to grab three strands of yarn like this I've cut it down to let's say about four to five inches so once you have that you're going to grab your crochet hook and we're going to slip these in in around second round or just between round one and two so slip your hook into the stitches like this and make it come out from the next one so we've just isolated one stitch you're going to roll this up and hook this onto your hook like this and pull it through now it's entirely up to you if you wish to do one of these at a time I've done all three in one go however I am going to give them a knot one at a time because by doing this you ensure that there is no big lump at the top so to identify which um, thread goes with the other if you pull one side the other one will retract so that's the one so I'm going to pull it up to the top and give this a double knot in place get this out of the way do the same thing with the other so pull on one side and you know which other strand goes with it double knot again And there we go now once you've done this you are going to just snip them off to the length the required length so I'm going to be putting them up and keep it about inch and a half and then we're going to snip this snip, snip the rest off so around this length 
so I've kept inch and a half and now they're all even size as well so this completes the head now let's move on to the leg so we're going to grab one of the legs I'm going to push this bottom part in because this will make the circle more exaggerated so the one where we the round where we worked only in the back loops is where we're going to pinch like this once we've done this we're going to go ahead and thread a darning needle with white yarn and we're going to stitch some toenails on this foot to do this you're going to make sure that the the holding the leg flat and from the corner trace down to the bottom so not on the side but coming down in the front and that's where you're going to um, make the first toenail to do this you're going to slip your needle just below your stitch where you work the back loops only so you can see that this bit is protruding and that's where I'm going to slip my needle in and you're going to leave two rounds in between and make the needle come out from the roundabout like this so we've got one and two rounds in between and here is where I'm going to make the nail. So you're going to pull this out. Now make the thread go to a single thread and from here you're going to slip it back in. And you're going to create four strands. That's one. Two, each time making sure that they are sitting side by side and not overlapping. Three, and the last one. Now before we do the last one, we're going to tie a knot between the thread that we've got at the bottom with the top one. So when you're tying this, guide the not to be sitting at the bottom of the toe toenail like this if you do it anywhere it might end up in the middle and we don't want that we want it to be nice and flush finish here so guide the knot to be at the bottom i'm going to give it a double knot as everything else i like to make sure things are nice and secure and once you've done this we're going to thread this in later slip your hook in back into the same space and we're going to leave two stitches in between and guide it to come out on the third stitch like this there we go now same thing here as well we are going to leave two rounds in between and we're going to create that toenail around here as well So four strands is what we are after. Two. Three. And one more. Number four. It's right here. And there we go. Now we're going to, again, slip it back into the same stitch from the other side. And keep about two stitches in between and guide the needle to come out from the third one. And we're going to repeat the process until we've got four toenails. Okay, once we've done this, we're going to catch one stitch like this, just one a little bit, actually part them and catch the stitch in the middle. And this is where we're going to create a knot. So we secure this thread in place like this, pull it right down, so nice and secure. So we're going to slip this needle back into the seam stitch and push it through some fiber fill and guide it to come out from another side of the leg. Pull it out all together and snip this off. I'm going to now do the same thing. So this is what it looks like. 
going to finish off with this one as well and to do this you're going to thread this into the darning needle first and slip your needle back into that same stitch and make it go through the fibre fill come off from another side of the body pull it through give it a little tug and that's it there you go now it's all finished let's snip this off I'm going to follow the same method and do the same thing to the other three feet or the three legs as well on the legs so go ahead and do that and meet me back here now onto the body and for this we are going to grab hold of two arms or legs although they're not exactly the same so we're going to grab two of these and we're going to keep them side by side and we're going to stitch this across the top or shall we say one round below so across the top but round between round one and two in the front like this if I hold this in place this is what it will look like from the side and that's where we need to stitch them so thread your darning needle with one of these threads and while holding it in place you're going to let's move this thread out of the way and stuff it inside the neck there we go move the fiber fill out of the way and let's start connecting this between round one and two so stitches right here so if you see these ones here that's where we're connecting them catch one stitch on the body and one stitch on the leg and we're going to work our way across now when you're stitching this stitch one leg and once you've done it keep one stitch in between one or two stitches in between and then stitch the other leg across like this so go ahead and do that and then meet me back here I've now finished with the arms we're going to stitch the legs on and to do this you're going to be doing that directly below where these arms have been attached but we're going to be doing that between round eight and nine so let's move these out of the way and let's position this correctly we're going to take the leg make sure that the nails are the right way around and we're going to trace the leg down all the way and first of all count to round eight and nine so there's round one two three four five six seven eight and nine so these are the stitches where we are stitching the leg on let's grab some pins to pin this leg in place so let's move that out of the way here is where we're stitching it now the leg and the arm needs to be in line with one another so i'm gonna move it a little bit more on the outside just to trace it one more time and there we go once you have the right position you're going to pin the legs on or if you wish to hold it in place and then stitch it that's totally fine whatever suits you best so we've got the three um, pins in place just to hold the leg in going to do the same thing with the other leg as well again positioning it in between round eight and nine about one stitch or two stitches in between and that's where it needs to be so go ahead and do that and meet me back here arms and legs are now on and just the final touch on the body and that is the tail to do this you're going to grab your yarn and attach it between round eight and nine so let's count that actually before we do that make sure that the arms and legs are flat down on the table one two three four five six seven eight nine so catching a stitch right in the middle of this back attach the gray yarn back on and from here you're going to slip your hook back into that same stitch and now I'm going to chain eight pull up a loop like this That's one two three oh let's do that again it just got pulled out one two three four five six seven and eight once you have your eight chains you're going to skip the first one and work a slip stitch in the second chain from your hook to work a slip stitch you're going to slip your hook in there pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook that's your first one do the second one here same thing again each time you're going to slip your hook in then chain stitch pull up a loop make this loop go 
bit of the stitch that was already on your hook. Let's work all the way to the end. And my last stitch left, chain stitch here. And we've just worked our seven slip stitches in our seven chain stitches that were left. Now right at the end, we're going to go back around that same stitch that we isolated earlier and attached our yarn on and we're going to work a slip stitch there. Final time, so you pull up a loop from there and make it go through the loop that was already on your hook. Now I'm going to snip this yarn off, pull it out of this stitch, pull this down to secure it in place and now we're going to use a darning needle to stitch these ends back in. To do this, go ahead and thread your this bit of yarn into darning needle and we're going to slip this back into the base of this uh, tail here. Before I do that, I'm going to give it a little knot just so we are 100% secure that it's uh, sure that it's secure in place. Like this. And once you're happy with it, you're going to slip the needle back into that same stitch Guide it, go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the body. And there we go, pull it through. Snip this, do the same thing with the other bit of yarn as well. And give it a little squeeze and that's the tail done. Now we're going to add a few tassels at the end. And for this, we're going to get about four to five inches yarn and you're going to double it up. We're going to snip this off. Now we're going to take our crochet hook, slip it at the end of this tail, just at the end, like this, and you're going to loop, hook this uh, yarn onto your hook and pull it through and give it a little knot in place. to do is we're going to pull this downwards and snip this yarn down to the size of an inch so we've got these four bits of yarn that's coming out of the tail like this and that is what the body of this elephant should look like now on to the head the final bit we're going to connect the head onto the elephant's body let me zoom out a little bit for you and when you're doing this, you're going to thread this bit of yarn into your darning needle first and we're going to attach this onto the end here so, so that it's matching like this. And then we're going to stitch one stitch on the head and one stitch on the body and stitch it all across. You will notice that there are 24 stitches across here and 24 stitches across the top here as well. So they should marry up perfectly. So catch one stitch on the body, attach it with the head, one on the body and the head, work your way all the way around. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here. I've now stitched all the components together and this is what our finished elephant looks like. If you enjoyed making this elephant with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.